Now, it may very well be the first auction of its kind and the largest of a unique collection going to the highest bidder tomorrow. 7 News reporter Russell Haythorn checks out this piece of American history unlike any other. The casual passerby would likely never know the treasures sitting inside this old Quonset shed. For my dad, it was always the thrill of getting the next one. Nearly 40 antique tractors. This is a 1530 McCormick Deering. This is a F30 Farmall. This is a 1926 Fordson made by Ford Motor Company. Some of them start with a key. Others with a few good cranks. They were collected by Howard Axelson and his dad, who recently passed away. He loved the hunt. He loved going around from place to place, looking in the backs of places. Alice Chalmers only made about 3,000, 3,500 of these. Is that really a tractor? Absolutely it is. But after a half century, Axelson is shutting it down. This was really more my dad's passion than mine. I enjoyed it a lot, but it was truly his. And that's just it. Axelson says it's time for someone else to enjoy them as he and his wife embark on a new adventure in Montana. Jenny and I, we like vacationing up there and we always liked it up there. The auction Saturday will be a first. This is something that we've never done before. Even the auctioneer has never seen anything like it in 30 years of business. Usually we'll have, oh, maybe one or two on an auction, but nothing to this magnitude. What's even rarer, they all run, all 36, including the 1926 Dual Rumley. As far as I know, there's there's only one other one of these around. What they'll go for is anyone's guess. I really don't know, Russell. I don't know. <laughs> You're asking tough questions. I hope it brings in the thousands, but. But some are so rare. My brother Larry and I, we had to run this a whole bunch as kids, and it's still a really good tractor. It's a dandy one. The auctioneer isn't quite sure what they'll bring. I guess that's the nice thing about the auction, because we let the people decide what they're worth. In Greeley. There's no reserves. It's going to sell. Russell Haythorn. Nothing lasts forever. Seven News. Nothing lasts forever. The auction is open to the public and starts at 10 a.m. Saturday. The location is 3940 Weld County Road 43, and the auction house is expecting at least 500 people.